Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in all your toy hunting missions. So today, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe, Cobra, Hiss, Three. I just picked this up today on the way through town and saw it on the shelf and picked it up because I thought it was interesting. Let's let's zoom back out. Thought it was interesting that it was on the shelf. Because just the other day, somebody posted on YouTube that the, these were available. And they posted a link on Walmart, because I guess this is a Walmart exclusive. Um, that these were available, and of course they were sold out online. And I was like, yeah, well, good luck on that one, finding it in the store. And I just happened to run into this uh, cruising through town today. So I wanted to show you guys that Walmart is getting this. I'm in the southern Arizona, Tucson area. But uh, decided to pick this up. I saw some people poo-pooing this because they were just saying, well, it's just a blue version. And they're absolutely right. It's just a fucking blue version. But... Um, I had the original version when I was a kid. I liked the black version, but the blue version is cool with me. So I'm going to actually open this one because I'm going to display this one, the original one. I'm going to leave in its box. But before I open this, let's uh, want to show you the show you the differences, at least in the packaging, because I'm. If, if you guys have been around, you, you know I'm a kind of a package whore. So you got the, the retro packaging with the explosion and the classic G.I. Joe with the, the red, white, and blue. Um, one thing that I did notice, like in the, the original, this one has a clear plastic window to see the dude. This one is just a picture. It's, it's just a... What do you call it? They did, I guess they decided to save money and just put that dude in there. Which is fine. I don't give a shit. Um, but then you look at the... Let's put this appropriately. So, Cobra Hiss. Cobra Hiss 3. Am I missing something? I probably am because I haven't been collecting G.I. Joe really long. At least the new stuff. I had the old stuff when I was a kid, but I got rid of it. Where's Hiss 2? If there's a Hiss 2 and somebody knows something about it, let me know in the comments. And then you got the back. And pretty much it, it's the same vehicle, just blue. And then they do some paint on the tracks. The dudes are the same exact. I will say right now, you do not get the silver on his face mask like you do on this one. Do you get the silver on his face mask? But when, when I open this up, you'll see it. you don't get it. So it's pretty much the same sticker layout. This is not exactly right. The numbers are different. But, I mean, it is what it is. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, bottom same. Blue, black. But, another thing too with the cards. I noticed with the character cards. On this guy, it's a very generic description of the trooper. Where this one... Rip it. 
They have his name, what he does, where he was born, and then a description of him. Where on this, I guess because there's a bunch of them, he's just a generic description. So I'm thinking this is just a one one of a kind dude that runs around on the battlefield with his blue tank and maybe he's the leader and everybody else is the follower. Is that what that's for? I don't know. I'm not super hardcore into G.I. Joe. Oh, speaking of the silver, I do have the dude out. I had just had, didn't put him back in the box, but you can see on his mask that yeah no silver which i guess if you really wanted to be a hardcore you could add it but it looks like it's the same exact sculpt of the other dude so blue one his tank let's open it up and what i also did was i opened it up ahead of time to one, look at it, but two, I wanted to put the, the stickers on it ahead of time, because I didn't want to do the stickers on camera, but I wanted you guys to see the finished, finished product, so you get your Get your little blueprint instructions, how to put it together. Really simple. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact way as when I put mine together back in the 80s. Um, warning. You get the gun. I already put sticker there, sticker there. You got the tracks. I put a put a sticker there. Little V, same thing there. You guys can see the the dirt kind of. Let me turn on it a little bit, and there you go. You can see a little bit of the the dirt. You would say. And on the tracks, you can see it on the bottom there. And the dude and the stickers and stuff come in in this packet, which is... And then you get a Cobra stand with his name on it. And then, but the the envelopes in there, and then envelope also has the windshield. So there's the windshield, kind of tinted. It's not clear. That's kind of cool. I like that. Probably won't be able to see the dude very well because he's blue and black so there's the the top of the tank and the seat twenty twenty one made in Vietnam and then I would recommend to when you're doing the stickers put the stickers on before you put it together, especially this one, because it you'll see when I snap it together. And then this was weird, and I still now even got some kind of a scratch that came from the factory. I didn't do that, so that's kind of disappointing. But at least it's on the back. And then these stickers are not white dots, like on the packaging here, so. Don't know what that's about. So let me snap this together real quick. I 
That wasn't too bad. Hopefully the window. Come on. Okay, there you go. I did not want to break the window on camera. That kind of... <clears throat> I'm glad they have the little divot thing in the front to lock them in. Because that... Man. Yeah, definitely. Got to put that thing together as an adult. Okay, so there's that. Then the gun pivots. You can shoot at aircraft, I guess, if you want. And then, dude, side there. That's really deep too, which is kind of cool too. He doesn't stick up in the in the air too much. But want to show you guys that. Uh, Cause I found it today and I thought, hell, if it was sold out, that means people and dudes are looking for this. So be on the lookout at your Walmart. It was just sitting on the shelf. Um, there were two of them when I was there. So I don't know. There weren't any other action figures hanging around. So I don't know if it came with a wave of action figures and these just happened to be sitting there and they didn't get snagged up. I'm not sure. But I wanted to show you guys this and be on the lookout. I am Jason. This is War Journal Toys. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll see you on the next one.